the Fresno Monsters, their first year with the USPHL, and now they are representing this Pacific Division at the USPHL Championship Tournament. First place out of that Pacific Division, 28-10-1, good for 58 points on the year, plus 103 goal differential. They broke that 200 goal mark, and then they went ahead and broke the 225 goal mark, scoring 227 on the year, and the offense showed up in the first rounds of the playoff, winning their game by a combined margin of plus nine goals. The Fresno Monsters offense is incredible, but Dan, is it enough to get them through pool play? I mean, if Newt Lowe keeps playing the way he is in net, then yes, it is. I mean, what you're starting to see here, it's a pattern in this postseason. You know, it's teams that are offensive minded who are getting the net finding at the right time that make big tournament runs. And if there's one thing Pool D is, it's up for grabs. It's anybody's ball game. This is 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D. There is, there's no clear-cut favorite in this group. Any one of these teams can come out of here if they get the right play at the right time. And, you know, you can gauge the success of the Fresno Monsters off of the play of Gage Brown. This left winger, three goals, one assist in his two games played to get to the championships. They dispatch a, a Las Vegas Thunderbirds team that has been difficult to deal with all year long. Ricky Bredberg, man, this guy's a bread winner. He's born and bred to win. Medrick Bolduck, man, this guy's a bold hockey player. I can tell you that much. I love Mikhail Gavrilenko, the right winger with this side. I go down and I, I kind of look at a little bit of it. Like the depth in defense is going to be interesting to see how these guys play. Like Cedricson, Okatundo. I mean, this is a guy that is going to have to come up big when the time calls for it. Nick Privatera is a guy who's going to, he's privy to big time defensive plays. These defensemen are game changers for the Fresno Monsters. They will need to D up in this division. The Minnesota Moose, the Toledo Cherokee. I mean, uh, the Carolina Junior Hurricanes, all these teams are going to bring physicality with them. It's going to be who who lays out the last hit. Yeah, the Monsters have a great mix of the youthful energy, a ton of 03s and 04s mixed with that veteran presence, your 2000s and your 2001s. They're going to have to rely on a little bit of both to get them through pool play. Yeah, and you can tune in. If this team does make it through pool play, you can tune in to watch those rawr, Monsters with the Dan K show on the call in the USPHL semifinals on Sunday afternoon, Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern, puck drop on that national championship game.